Good morning. On this beautiful Palm Sunday, the Sunday before Easter, it is so good to be with you this morning to share a devotion on praising the Lord. And that's what our devotion is about this morning, is um, sharing about the praise of the Lord. So I want us to begin our devotion from the book of Psalm, and it is um, Psalm 18, chapter 18. We're going to read verse 1 and then refer to other verses throughout this um, Psalms. Put my eyes on this morning so I can see you good. Um, there we go. We can see better now. This is Psalms 18, 1, and it says, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. Who is our strength this morning? The Lord is our strength. He is the one that we should depend on in everything we do throughout our lives. And we need to learn that early on. You need to, we need to teach our children that early on. We need to teach our grandchildren that it's the Lord we depend on for strength. It says, these verses reveal the intimate relationship between the psalmist David and his God. David was very close to God. He, he loved God, and God loved David. There was a special place in the heart of God for the psalmist David because of his love for him. How God's heart must have rejoiced to hear David say, I will love thee. I will love thee thee. God delights to have us come humbly into his presence, taking time to love him. God wants us to love him. When was the last time you paused and told God, Oh Lord, I do love you. When's the last time we did that? I'm, I'm including myself in that. How many times a day do we tell God that we love him? When we love someone dearly, we know they love us. We have complete trust in them. And David said, The Lord, in verse 2, In whom I will trust. Then he enumerated or counted several things that God is to the person that trusts him. This is what God is to the person that trusts him. And the Bible says that God, the Lord, is my rock. A rock is a foundation, very strong foundation. God, the Lord, is our rock. It says, the Lord is my fortress. A fortress is a place of shelter and safety. The Lord is my deliverer. Before turning to the Lord, the Lord is my strength. Not he gives strength, he is strength, my strength. And the thing I want to remind us of is when things happen in our lives, oftentimes when we need a deliverer, we turn to our pastors, our brothers and sisters in church, we turn to moms and dads, we turn to grandma and grandpa, we turn to friends and neighbors. And that's okay to turn to people on this earth and have them to pray with you and to pray for you. But the only one that can deliver us from issues in our life or from habits in our life or from diseases or problems in our life is the Lord. He is the great deliverer. He's also our strength. The Lord is my buckler. A buckler is a shield and it protects one from the enemies. So the Lord being our buckler means he protects us from the enemies. The Lord is the horn of my salvation. When David spoke of the Lord as the horn of his salvation, he recognized that the Lord was the light and glory of his life. Is the Lord the light and glory of your life? Are we expecting him to be that in our lives today? The light and glory of our life? The Lord is my high tower. There is safety for us in the tower. It's above all. 
The Lord is above all. He's our high tower. God was very personal to David. And each time he said, My. And he says that to us today too, if we'll trust in him and love him the way we should. First, he expressed his love to the Lord, David did. And then his trust in the one he loves. Because he trusts him, he has confidence in calling on him for help. And we need to trust the Lord enough to call on Him for help. When we need help, and we a lot, we, we need it now a lot in our world and in our nation. We need to call on the Lord for help. It's sad to see churches closed right now. It's sad to see stores closed. It's sad to see people losing their jobs. Call on the Lord for help. If we could all set aside a prayer time, on the East Coast, the mountain area, the Central. If we could just set a certain time that would all be together and pray at one time across this nation for the help of the Lord, and we may see a big change in our, in our nation and in our world. I will call upon the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. He is worthy to be praised. There's a song that we used to sing when we were children. Just kind of like the praise songs that we sing in church today. This was our praise song that started every service out when we were children. And it's praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. We need to praise God today. He is worthy of praise. He is worthy of our praise. And if you look around you this morning on this Palm Sunday, how much you have to be thankful for. Look at your children. Look at your spouses. Look at your home. You're not on the streets. Look at the fact that you could put clothes on this morning, have a cup of coffee or cup of hot tea or whatever you chose. Some of you had an egg. Some of you had something for breakfast this morning. There's so many people who do not have what we have. We have so much to be thankful for. We have so much to praise Him for. Let's pray. Father, we thank You, Lord, for this day. Thank You, Lord, for all You have done for us. You are worthy of our praise. You have given us so much, and we need to thank you for everything we have in the good times and in the bad times. We thank you for everyone that's listening this morning and bless their families. In the name of Jesus. Until next time, God bless you and your precious family.